praise the name of Jesus. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the anointing service for the month of May 2021. And it's also our first evening gathering in almost over a year. Let's give God some praise. God alone deserves the glory. He alone deserves all the honor. Can we all please rise to our feet? And greet your brother, greet your sister. I'd also like to remind us to please adhere to all COVID-19 protocols regarding the use of the nose mask. social distancing and your hand hygiene. Wash regularly and sanitize as often as possible. Like we keep reminding ourselves, we're not afraid of COVID, but we're just being careful. Praise the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you all the honor, and we give you all the adoration. We thank you for the gift of life, and we thank you for preserving our lives till this hour of this day. We commit all we shall do into your hands. Sweet Holy Spirit, have your way in our midst in the name of Jesus. Glorify the Father, and we decree that we shall all live here bigger, better, and blessed in the name of Jesus. We pray for those on the way. We ask that the road will be clear for them to get here in good time to partake of tonight's blessings. Receive all the glory, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory, we give you honor, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Father, receive our praise. Receive our worship. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. What are your expectations tonight? The first physical gathering for quite a while. Well, evening gathering for quite a while. What are your expectations tonight? Please talk to your father. It's the anointing service. How expectant are you? And what are you expecting? It's a month of divine visitation. So talk to your father. Express your heart. Express your desires. Rima shande kahile bo sande kahile bo sande. Ribra kihile mo shande kihile bo sando kohoro bo shanda. Ribra kehiri bo sande kahiri bo shande kahiri bo sande kehiri bo shandaraba. 
Rimas kari bo shande ke hiri braka halama sondo ko horo bo shande ke hiri brala baba sondo. Rimas sindi kiti kiri bo shande ka hala baba shanda. You said in your word that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. Father, we are here tonight. We're expectant. Our hearts ready to receive. Father, we are confident we shall not go back the same way. In the name of Jesus, will meet us individually and collectively. Rema shandeka hiri bo shandeke hiri bo shandeka hiri brele bo bo shanda. Rema shandeke hiri bo shandeke hiri bo bo shanda. Our prayer tonight is that we shall live here, having had a life-changing encounter in your presence tonight. In the name of Jesus. Rema bo shandeka hiri bo kahala ba sondo kohoro bo shanda. Rebra kahili mo shandi kahiri bo sondo kohoro bo bo shanda. Rebo sande kahiri bro kohoro bo bo shandi kahiri brele bo bo shanda kahara ba ba sanda. We exalt your holy name, Father. In Jesus' name. Can we please commit all we shall do tonight to God's hands, that God be glorified. Right from this opening prayer, the praise and worship. We we'll hear the word, and the Holy Ghost will take over. That in all we shall do, Father, be glorified. Let's pray in the name of Jesus that the agenda of man will not stand. Only the counsel of God, only His will, shall be done here tonight. Let's pray for our senior pastor that he stands to share the word tonight. That God will speak through him expressly. That God will grant utterance clarity of thought and accuracy of speech that every word spoken shall be confirmed with signs and wonders Father be glorified in all we shall do tonight in our singing and dancing Father be glorified as the word will come Lord be glorified it shall come with precision it shall be accurate in the name of Jesus we shall receive life. Rabo Sandike Hele Bushanda. We shall receive life. We shall receive life. We shall receive light. Kahere Bushinda. Kahere Bushanda. Rima Sondo answers to our questions. Healing for our bodies. Kahere Bushandike Hele Bushanda. Clarity for every doubt. Kahere Bushandike Hele Bushanda. Ribra ke hele bo shande ka hiri bo sandi ke hiri bo bo shanda. Rima sondo ko horo bo father in no way will flesh be exalted. Rima sinde ke hiri bo shinda ka hala baba sondo. Ribra ke hiri bo shandi ka hiri bo sandi ka haraba shanda. Ribra ka hele bo sandi ke hiri bo shanda karaba. In the name of Jesus, I may just pray for our nation Nigeria. So much happening, but God is in control. Let's just pray, lifting up our nation, lifting up those in authority, praying that God will grant them wisdom to tackle all these issues, that God's peace will continue to reign in our nation, Nigeria. Let us pray. Pray. Pray for peace in the north, peace in the south, peace in the east and the west, even Abuja. That the peace of God shall reign. In the name of Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight's gathering. And we commit all we shall do into your hands. Father, be glorified. Our prayer is that every man, woman, boy, and girl will live here with a testimony tonight. That is our declaration. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Could you please wave those hands to the King of Kings? Yeah. If you have a testimony you want to share with God's people, there will be a pastor waiting to receive you at the back of the auditorium. Thank you, Jesus. Anointing service right in this auditorium. Is somebody grateful? Yes. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We are so thankful for your love. Your love.
love has taken over us Father we depend on you We have confidence in you In you oh Lord We put our trust Jesus your love has taken over us Father we love you alone we have confidence in you in you oh lord we put our trust somebody said the the love of jesus
Let the Lord hear your own voice. Sing a new song to him. We bless your name. We bless you, Lord. I have more than a song today. I brought myself. I am your sacrifice. Lord, we have more than a song today. We brought ourselves. We are your worship. Receive.
new names. You know those situations that have defiled answer, God will reveal himself to us as the answer to those situations in Jesus' name. How many people are excited to be in the house this morning? The first anointing service holding life in this all in over a year. I believe the Lord deserves some praise of hallelujah. The devil tried to lock us home, but God said no. We are going to do one more shout of hallelujah. You know that shout that you are telling the devil, this is the beginning of new things. You have kept us doing anointing service at home, but we have broken free. We have stepped forward. And as we step for us forward, the Red Sea is passing before us. It's dividing and making way for the children of God to come through us. So if you know that you are a child of God, that is walking through every Red Sea, everything that has held you back, you are walking through them. I want you to give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. you praise we thank you for today's anointing service we thank you for the month of visitation how ah, we thank you that you are visiting our homes you are visiting our spouses you are visiting our children you are visiting our businesses you are visiting our jobs you are visiting our health you are visiting our finances you are visiting our relationships father we thank you that everyone here will come back in June with their testimony in the name of Jesus. And Father, in advance for these testimonies, we say thank you. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Please look at your neighbor and say good evening in case you haven't done so already. And welcome them to the first not just online because we are very much online but the first on-site anointing service in 2021 hallelujah we thank god we welcome you so we're going to be taking the testimonies the bible says that the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy so if you hear a testimony and you want to tap into it by all means do because the bible says that if he has done it before no i'm paraphrasing if he did it for one, he can do it for the other. What's the scripture? God is no respecter of persons. So if someone comes out to share, it means that God can do the same for us. And he will do much more in Jesus' name. I'll read the first testimony from Julie Frederick. It says, good morning. Sorry, now good evening. Pastor Tyro Numti, Pastor Numti and all the pastors here. I have two huge testimonies. I want to bless God for healing. In 2015, I had a son who was about nine pounds. Because it was so big, I had all baby and no fat with my tiny bodies. So I couldn't have him myself. So we had early caesarean operation. Five months after my son was born, I was rushed to the emergency room several times because of severe stomach pain. And they found out that I had abdominal hernia as a result of my big baby. So they put a mesh in my stomach and I had to live with that. However, six to seven months later, my tummy started hurting again. And whenever I stood for two hours, I would start feeling pain around my belly button, around the areas where I had incision for the mesh. I couldn't wear pants anymore. I couldn't tie belts. I couldn't tie wrappers. Nothing around my belly because I would start feeling pain. Like an hour after I am dressed, I would be in pain literally all day. I couldn't even bend. And once this pain starts, my belly would become big and it will remain big for a couple of days. And sometimes people would ask me, when are you having the baby? Because they think I was still pregnant. I would look like I was five months pregnant or something thereabout. So because of this, I would either hide from people or from areas where I could see people. The pain became unbearable, and I went from doctor to doctor, referred from hospital to hospital, and had series of scan imaging to find out why I was having this pain. Even went back to the surgeon who did the surgery, that is, put the mesh, but he said there was nothing he could do, except I wanted him to take out the mesh. 
and I would go back to having my intestine going through my belly button where I had the eye So I cried and cried. I was tired of having to deal with this. I felt stuck. I wasn't free. I couldn't stand for more than one or two hours. I couldn't do anything. It was horrible. Last year, my mom came to visit. She would cry every day because of the pain she sees me going through and would say, maybe this is why I haven't been able to conceive since I had the son and I have been struggling to conceive. I said, I do not believe this. And one thing I know is this, my God is able to deliver me from this pain and give me more children with or without this pain. Then I told my husband, I have gotten really angry with the devil. I said to him, I know one person who can make this pain go away. When everything or all others are failed, this is one resource that would never fail. His name is Jesus. So every Sunday, when pastor will finish the service, he would say, if you have anywhere in your body, with pain, lay your hand on that spot. I would lay my hand on my tummy and pastor would pray and end the service. Then I would turn off my computer and go back to sleep. So I just continued to do this. Two months later, I noticed one day the pain had disappeared. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brethren, these days I even tie wrapper to the office all day without fear. My tummy does not hurt or swell anymore. I don't look like a five-month pregnant woman again. God has healed me. It is amazing how people will say you are watching or attending service from online. How can God heal from online? God is everywhere. I moved to the U.S. in 2015 and I've not stopped attending fountain. I was a fountainer before I came to the U.S. And as soon as I got there, before I could even find a physical church to attend, I just switched over to fountain online and I've never stopped. God has been answering my prayers from over there. Whenever pastor preaches and prays, I am in the U.S., I touch my stomach and just keep saying amen. God is still healing. I bless God. I am healed. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Who says there is distance in the spirit? There is no distance in the soul. If you are watching online, you will get that which is yours today in the name of Jesus. She has a second testimony. It says, my second testimony is this. Two years ago, I started an event where people would come to make their own lipstick or lip gloss, get it customized with their name and have fun at the same time. I called it drink and makeup. It started so people could build their self-esteem, network, rekindle relationships, friendships, and have a happy moment together. Ever since I started, I have been the one going to hunt for people, inviting people, spending money to get people to come over to, come over to make their lip gloss or lipsticks. And sometimes they might pay, but it's been more of me spending money than gaining. However, I get pleased to see people encourage each other when they meet or build their self-esteem, connect or reconnect with. Early this year, someone called me and said she has a bachelorette and would like to come to my lab to drink and make up with her friends. I was happy and scared. I thought it was a scam. However, I answered her. She didn't call me back for weeks. I got scared and worried it was a scam, but just kept talking to God about it during Thursday showers or prayers in the morning, afternoon, and night. I told God, I don't want to use my money to keep pushing this. I have to pay my rent. I know I had good intention creating this event. However, I also have to pay rent. I kept asking God for a breakthrough for at least one person that would bring another person and stuff like that. And boom, from nowhere, this same lady called back. Her, her chief bridesmaid also called. Two days later, I got an email that someone had paid certain amount of money for my event. And she texted me that she had paid and booked the day. Like Pastor Taiwo said, if you can comprehend it, if you can ask, think, or imagine it, then it's not God. It does beyond what you can think imagine or comprehend. I am still thinking of how this lady found me. She does not even live in the same city as I 
do. Indeed, it is God as work here because I cannot begin to imagine or fathom it. God did it for me. God surprised me after two years of struggling to make this event known, to get people to come to my lab and studio to make their makeup. I finally have customers. I am so happy. She booked and paid like two months before the date. The interesting part is she booked for 19 girls and paid for each of them. Remember she asked God for one. God gave her 19. This is amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When you ask God for one, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and everything that you are going to ask God for in today's service, he will do above them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I would like to invest, invite Sister Okpemiko Kende. Please give her a round of applause as she comes. Keep clapping. Don't stop clapping. We are encouraging her and we are celebrating the God that gave her this testimony. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to just thank God for what God has done in my life. Um, early this year, in January, I picked the promise, and it was in Proverbs 22, verse 29. Um, and then it says, Set thou a man diligent in his work. It will stand before kings. It shall not stand before mean men. When I got that promise, I prayed about it. And God literally told me that I needed to do more. So I finished my master's and I was like, okay, what can I do to just really build my confidence so that I can sit before kings and not just mean men? So I started doing some certifications in January, February. And as God will have it in March, um, this year is possessing our possession. And then in the month of March, Pastor was really talking about open doors and I just really tapped into it that my own open door will definitely come and I'm going to possess my possession. A friend of mine just called me, ending of March, that there is a link for a job. Um, it's an international job. And I'm like, okay, there'll be a lot of people and things like that. I, I was just really praying that God is going to answer my testimony. And I will just give my, I'll, the miracle will just happen. I didn't know how it was going to work, but I just know I was going to just share my testimony. To God be the glory, I got the job from, from earning 200,000 or 250,000 naira to over a million naira. I'm just so grateful because it's, I don't even know how to even describe it, but I want to just thank God for his faithfulness over my family. God has been amazing over my daughter, over my husband. Even before we ask for anything, God would have actually even done it and even multiplied it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See the way God is doing overdue. I'm sensing that some people are going to get extra today. They will get jara. So when you come and testify, you say, I asked God for one. He did extra. And with that understanding, I want us to package our offering this evening. We're giving intentionally and deliberately to God. This God that specializes in doing extra. So we're going to do extra for him. And trust that he will do extra for us. Can you please package your offering? The account details for your offerings will be showing on the screen. In case you want to give online, you can do so. If you put your offering together, shall we just rise as we bless our offering? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace and the opportunity to be able to give to you. We ask, oh God, that you accept our sacrifices of praise and appreciation to you this evening. And that you cause men to give to our bosom in the name of Jesus. For everyone that wants to give but does not have, we ask that you give seed to the sower in the name of Jesus. And God, the reward that comes with obeying your instruction to bring all our fight and offering into your house. Lord, we ask that we will enjoy that reward. You will rebuke the devourer for our sakes and we will experience open heavens in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. If you know you are the next to testify, June, it will be testimony. You know, so much testimony that pastor will have to squeeze time to preach. You know you are the next testifier. Hallelujah! Please welcome the choir. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Victory is won in Jesus' name. Amen. And our heavens are open. Amen. Amen. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And it's coming your way. It's a new day.
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Aren't you glad you are part of the first anointing service post COVID? For us, it is post COVID. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God in the highest. Oh yeah, the devil will always try his best, but his best is always too small for the God we serve. Can somebody shout, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I see you are sitting, so what, and it's going to be a short service, you know, because you just want to make it as quickly as possible. But let me tell you quickly up front, don't underrate the power of the anointing. You may not have to fall, but the power of God will go to play in your bodies, in your homes, in your situation, in the name of Jesus. And as a matter of fact, corporately, using you by proxy for a whole group of people or for a city, the power of God will go into operation. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. Glory be to God in heaven. Oh, you are leading. We're still in the park. You're leading the park. Uh, let me see your face. Ah, okay. I didn't recognize you. This thing doesn't make you recognize people. Hallelujah. Wave your hand for say victory is what? Hallelujah. Again. Again. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Give us a worship song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Generations after generations keep praising you yet no word sums it up and I ask the Lord what name fits you
praise. Give him honor. Worship you. Adore him. Magnify his name. You may be seated. Glory be to God in the highest. I have my... I'm, thank you very much, choir. You've done very well. Hold your mic. I would have loved that we sing more, but we want to close, you know. We want to set a record today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I, just, I mean, uh, 19 services have been one hour. So now that we're here, can we start with honor? Then we gradually extend as everything eases and eases more in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We worship you. We adore you. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me quickly announce up front, if you have never experienced a miracle before, why don't you make up your mind that this is the beginning for you? In the name of Jesus. In other words, I'm announcing that whatever you came here believing God for, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it's either you get home to sit turned around or the processes are well engaged but that you will not return with the testimony is not possible in the name of I say in the name of in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory be to God in the highest and if that be the case oh glory announcing your moms hallelujah <laughs> Of divine visitation. I mean it. Announcing your own month of divine visitation. You know, the, the, the attitude of faith is such that somebody immediately said, Yeah, this is my month of divine visitation. I just said, Announcing your month of divine visitation. And that person just said, This is what I heard. It is my month of divine visitation. When you do that, you tell every other thing or person contrary to that statement to begin to excuse you. You are making a declaration. You are putting the first step forward for your major, major visit, I mean breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And so our opening scripture Let's go to Psalm 126, and I'll read the first three verses. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the heathen or the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Glory be to God in the highest. Yes, the Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. And the Bible says, we are rejoicing. You will rejoice. I say, in the name of Jesus, you will rejoice. Let me say it again. In the name of Jesus, you will rejoice. Oh, la kira mashanda brule baba. I say, you will rejoice. In the name of Jesus, you will rejoice. Everywhere morning has been planned for you, you will rejoice. Maraca center pro shanda prababa. Everywhere fear has been planned for you. Failure has been planned. You will rejoice. Maraca satara pakosodaba. Remember, this is anointing service. Glory be to God in the highest. Everywhere destruction, losing, whatever of the devil has been planned for you. You will rejoice. Maraca sonda prababa. I'm still talking of planning. I say you will rejoice. I say you will rejoice. You will rejoice. 
Makashanda Bruni Karababa Kasuna Baba. I say you will rejoice. Marika Sanda Baba Baba. You are not planning a celebration. If anything, you are afraid. But the Lord is asking me to tell you right now that it will be a month of celebration for you. In the name of Jesus, you will rejoice. In the name of Jesus, say I will rejoice. Say it again. I will rejoice. I will be glad. I will rejoice. Sit down. So it doesn't matter what the devil has planned for the week, for, for the week, for the month, for the year. I overrule. In the name of Jesus, and by virtue of the fact that he has spoken, I believe it. In the name of Jesus, I say I overturn it. I say in Jesus' name, I overturn it. I say you will rejoice. You'll be glad. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God in the highest. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Now, let me just quickly begin by saying that for every time that the word of God is spoken, now, usually it's up to you the way you begin to interpret the word. But I want you to know that God does not, hallelujah, tempt you with um, evil. Uh -huh. So if God says, it's your mind up uplifting, don't begin to think, eh, even the devil too can uplift. Don't. You just missed it. Is somebody hearing me? If the Lord said, it's your mind of, um, I'm looking for something. Look for another example. Give me examples. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, it's a month of turnaround. Don't start by thinking, eh, there's a turnaround of, I want you back with me, I hope I die. No, please, for goodness sake. Why will you be thinking that we say, God says that this is our month of turnaround, and you are thinking that there's another type of turnaround that can be turned around from good to bad? That is not God. Don't even entertain it. Don't even think of it. It's our month of visitation. You say, why did you go that way? Because in the Bible, when you say visitation, you will see a whole chunk of places where visitation is judgment. You know, it's true. When God visits, you will see all the characters of God in that place, your yeah, judgment, deliverance, oh, increase, hallelujah. So when they have an annoying and annoying him and they have refused to talk, he will visit them, it is judgment. But that's not our case. You want to see our case? Turn to uh, Psalm 65, quickly, I'll just show you. I see, there is a way you meditate. It is what you think continuously that you get. Even if it's obvious that you are quarter to hey, but your thinking is hey, he whom the Lord has saved is saved. Ah, 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 ah. He whom the soul has set free is set free. You'll be amazed that what naturally turns out to be the result for many we spare you. Not even spare you. We skip you. What is spare is like you are their mercy. I mean they will have no authority. Glory be to God in the highest. Look at Psalm 65. Amen. I like this, my Jesus. So, so hail my Jesus. Hail my Jesus, Hail my Jesus, Everybody, Jesus, 
Hallelujah. That is the, that's, the, that's the beauty of gathering together. If you were to be online, I would just be straight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, see, the same God that you see, visitation, judgment here, judgment there, may the same God hear me. Okay, let me show you this quickly. Look at verse 9. You visit the earth. And what I eat. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain. For so you have prepared it. You water its ridges abundantly. You settle its furrows. You make it soft with, with showers. You bless its growth. When God visits you, you are watered, you are green, you are productive, you are peaceful, you are lush. Marinda Kasura, Baba. You crown the year with goodness. When it is God, it is goodness, it is mercy. Hallelujah. And your part drips with abundance. Because what? You visit the earth. When you visit the earth, no wonder the earth has not gone. When you think everything is gone, the mercy of God. It was just, just a drop of his mercy. Top. In the same place where the total life will never rise again. Look at Rwanda. At the time, it was the most devastated country in Africa. When you say who, before you say Wanda, all you think is dead and carnage, and it's one of the leading nations today. The mercy of God. And then the amazing thing, when he visits, he turns things around. In line with his character and his nature. Ladies and gentlemen, God is good. So, just to show you the character of our God and what we see when we say he's visiting us. He says, and the little hills rejoice. You can't see God. And there will be no joy. On every side, the pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered with grain. They shout for joy. You see, let me say this quickly. This month, joy will break loose in people's lives and situations. I see the joy of the Lord will establish himself in the name of Jesus. Where it looked grim and tattered and looked like boom, the joy of the Lord. Uh, example, wasn't it persecution in the book of Acts in chapter 8, um, oh my goodness, people, the believers were scattered. They ran for their lives. It was a bad time. The only ones who remain, oh glory be to God, by virtue of commitment and loyalty to God, were the disciples, the apostles rather. They were the ones that remained. All of them scattered. The deacons scattered. And Philip, Stephen was killed. Philip escaped and ran to Samaria. But the Bible said as they ran, they were dropping the word everywhere they went. Now, you know what that says to me? No matter how ugly your situation may be looking, what are you thinking? Because what you're thinking will be what you are saying. What you are saying it will, 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 will determine the turnout 
out of your situation there. They were being persecuted. They were running for their lives, but they were saying the word. They were running. They were saying the word. They were running. They were saying the word. They were running. They were saying the word. That no, 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 no. we don't need to begin to think of what they believed at this time. If they believe that persecution has totally wiped them out and they cannot rise again, they will not be saying the word. I'm saying somebody here today. No matter how terrible you may look, don't stop speaking the word. Don't let the gospel, or rather, let me call it, gospel is good news. It can't be gospel. What's the opposite of good, bad? So if good, if gospel is good news, G O then S P L, okay, then the devil's one is bus bus pal. Yeah, good news, bad news. Uh, it's bus pal. Don't let the bus pal of the devil now become the gospel that has produced you and sustaining you. But here we are going. He got to Samaria. The man that was troubled, that was being chased by trouble, the words of his mouth was bringing succor and hope to those there. Whatever their problems were, they, nothing compared with what he was running from. But the word of his mouth was turning their lives around. The Bible said they accepted Jesus on Mars. They brought out all their old dependence, all the dependence on witches and wizards and witchcrafts and occult. They, brought, they were born in their camps. And the Bible said there was great joy. When God comes, joy breaks loose. Visitation. The question is, did God visit Samaria? Yeah. How? Through Philip. Is God visiting us today? Yeah. How? Through his word for the month. And why is to live here today? Many will encounter divine visitation. You say, how? You. Glory be to God in the highest. I say, glory be to God in the highest. And so you begin to wonder, what is it about God that when he appears, things turn around. Ah, I say, ha, ah, in that day, the body shall be what? And the yoke shall be what? Removed and destroyed. Please speak that word. When it comes to the anointing, there will be relief. Wait, 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 wait. The yoke, the body shall be lifted. So that's release, that's deliverance. Come on. The yoke shall be removed. That's deliverance, that's release. But the yoke shall be what? This is. If it's the anointing, there will be some destruction. Um. <laughs> hey, Rabbi. So when you say in the name of Jesus, you are releasing the power of God. You are releasing a performance, a divine performance. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are evoking a divine performance in the situation. And if the devil won't let go of fire, he will destroy the system to release his own. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. No wonder when it comes to his anointing, he, you know how he describes it in the Old Testament? He says he's devouring fire. When it comes to his anointing, it is devouring fire. Glory be to God in the high. The kind of fire that will burn the grass, and the grass will not be burned. He will be burning on the grass. He said the grass will be lush, will be, will be, will be getting more and more lush and dazzling. And God will be beckoning through the fire. And through the fire, messages will be coming. Through the fire, the man of God will be established. Through the fire, the, 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 the giant of the Lord, who until now was a wimp, will emerge as the giant that he is. Somebody shout, fire! Oh no, you are a bit delayed. That's why in the day of visitation, two ways. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest. And that's why the day of station is always when the captives are turned around. 
they don't hold. Captivities don't hold. In the day of visitation, they don't hold. I say in the day, they don't hold. So, Pastor, the question is, when are the days of visitation? Ah, in that day was post resurrection. These are the days. These are the days. So, now, if these are the days, then how come these things are not being, I, I, I mean, are, are, not, are not at play as, it, as, as they should be? Don't you know that anything God has concluded for you can only be actualized by faith? And if faith is a big language for you, by trusting God, by taking Him at His word, that's all. Yeah, that's what it means. That's what faith means. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live by taking God at His word. Period. I need more than rubber. A mio mariru Jesu yere. More than rubber. Mio riru Jesu yere. Koi poka rara o choba siti aye ajinde magakasha katala baba. Hallelujah. So he said, when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion were like them that dream. For many, you will pinch yourself. Is this real? And I stand as an oracle of God today because the truth is this. What I've just said is this. Silver and gold I don't have. But such as I have, I am giving you today. You will return. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will return. I say you will return. I say you will return. You will return. You will return. You will return. In the name of Jesus, you will return. I say you will return in Jesus' name. You will come back in Jesus' name. Oh, my shakata lelelabobo. You will return in Jesus' name. Makaki kapora baba. You will return in Jesus' name. Glory be to God in the highest. Turn again the captivity. Is that what I was saying when I started? I said, well, whatever the plans of the devil may be for your life, and we were looking at whatever the devil thought he had planned for your week, for your day, for your week, for your month, for your year, for your life. We were saying they will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. But what, what with what you are going through right now, just deal with that and then we close. The Bible says in Acts chapter 10 verse 38, talking about this anointing of the Holy Ghost. He said everywhere that Jesus went, so everywhere he visited, <laughs> oh, glory be to God in the highest. Uh, Marinda Baraka Soteria. He became so much that if Jesus had to visit your home because he needs to use your pen, then your home will receive blessings. Uh, just because he had to pass through your home. That, I mean, uh, if Jesus just had to cross your path, uh, that your path crossed, uh, your path has crossed with blessings, uh, with deliverance, uh, with blessings, uh, with increase, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's the one with whom you and I are dealing with. His name is Jesus. He says, sad hearts weep no more. He has healed the broken hearted. Open wide the prison door. He is able to deliver. His name is Jesus. 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 Come on, come on. Sad hearts with. No more. He has healed the broken heart. I open wide 
the prison door, he is able to deliver evermore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say praise Jesus. And so that means everywhere he goes. So in other words, and remember, don't always forget this. It's key. Because it was pretty easy at that time. Because then it was in the bodily form like you can see me today. And of course, it was everywhere he went. But even that one was a limitation. Because while he would be here, he wouldn't be in Oyibu at the same time. Although he could speak his word, okay? But he wouldn't be in Oyibu at the same time. But today he can be everywhere at the same time. Say how? By his spirit. I know the interesting thing. He, didn't, he hasn't just thrown his spirit like just hanging in the air. Oh, yes. Even the air carries his spirit. It's omnipresent. But much more than that is the fact that his spirit has been made to reside in us. And everywhere we went in the name, I'm sorry, we go in the name of Jesus. He manifests. He does what he normally will do. He hasn't changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you know the thing? He wants you to trust him on that. He wants me to trust him on that. We have, we have, see, we are just beginning to see miracles. The time has come for the devil to begin. Just hear that these ones are Christians. In the name of Jesus. Ah. But that's what it is. Everywhere he went. Then it was said among the heathen, the Lord. Ah. Uh -uh. By virtue of your manifestations, the world will accept him. They will bow. They will worship him. Every knee will bow. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Then it was said among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for him. There's someone here today, by the end of this month, your testimony will be great things have been done for me. In the name of Jesus. You'll be saying, the Lord has done great things for me. Even the world will not be able to deny the fact that what has happened to you is great. In the name of Jesus, sir. Under the sound of my voice, I establish it and I declare it. In the name of Jesus, sir. I say, whatever the devil is using to oppress you, I say, if you turn around for a great testimony for you. I say, great testimony for you. I say, great testimony for you. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. And now hear the way it turns around. They now say, yes, our God indeed has done great things for us. Yes, he has. And we are glad. You will be glad. You will rejoice. I say you will be glad. You will rejoice. I know the interesting thing is this. When you say visitation, uh, who determines the visitation of God? We can see. The only thing we can do to, pre to, 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 to determine, or rather, to contribute towards determination, because we don't determine it, is to prepare. Just prepare. In other words, expect him, based on his word, expect him to do it. Well, how do you know the very day is going to come? It's up to him. But will he come? Oh, definitely. This day the weight upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall what? Run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That means no matter the oppression, it cannot take you out. You will outlast it. God will justify you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. So one or two examples quickly and I leave it. You know in the book of Luke in chapter 1, you know the story of Elizabeth and um, 
What was his name now? Zechariah. They were not just covenant children of God. Priests. And they believed God for a child for many years. I'm sure many would have said they didn't have faith. Or they didn't pray. Or maybe there was something they were doing wrong. You know, human beings just have a way to judge for themselves. That means counsel with lack of understanding. Glory be to God in the highest. But the Bible said this day, service day, he was going through the ritual of service. And as he was preparing, preparing himself alone in the temple, preparing himself, he felt a presence. And of course, he saw this light shining. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He went down on his knees. What is this? <laughs> God says, I've always been around. I only decided to let you see me now. But for him, that was visitation. And God does not visit for visiting sake. Can I tell somebody here today? You are in a visitation right now. Oh, is it that you got nothing to do? That's why you are here? No. It's an orchestrated meeting. And the result will be the proof. In the name of Jesus. Let me put it aside. I need to close. I want to tell you a story. I was in the executive of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. The first time we were settling in in Nigeria. Brother Bata had been the one in Port Harcourt coordinating the study of the chapter in Port Harcourt. And they said, let's get to Lagos. I had the privilege of being in the executive in Lagos. And from Lagos, we started propagating everywhere. We left from Lagos to move to Ibadan, Ibadan, to Abekuta, to Abekuta, to to Ilori. Okay. I remember when the Kaja was starting at Sheraton. Sheraton was pretty new then. So in the executive, we were about, just about, I think, 12 or so. Yes? The Kaja. You were in that meeting? You remember that? Oh, the Kaja. <laughs> then Baba Olu was the first. Yeah. Anyway, so I was in the office. And uh, this is my dear friend, I've forgotten his name. It's been a long time I saw him, I don't know. He had the most prominent Christian newspaper at the time. He was living in Antony, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, I just saw him appear in my office in Seven Kofa Bayami Petroleum Inspectorate around to three. We'll close at four. So I just saw him coming. I said, hey, how are you doing, bro? He said, I said, bro, bro, you know. They said, two of us should handle the keja. We are just establishing praying and fasting for Wednesday for them. We have the first one or the second one. The first, ah. Uh, so he said, so you and I, we go. I said, no, 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 no. They didn't tell me. I'm not going. Ah. Uh, because that day, I didn't fast. Ah. Uh, I had eaten. So I was going, we were going to meet them. We told them to fast. They had fasted. They were coming. I was like, I said, no, no. I said, bro, you now. I said, I'm sure they sent you. You are coming to look for somebody. I picked my phone. I call. <laughs> that one said, that's our president. I said, this guy, you know. I said, you know what? Go with him. I said, why? If he's saying that now, go with him. So that we don't. Ah, why did I call this man to confirm? Anyway, so we got there. Come and look at people, some old as our fathers. Men were seated. And in full gospel, we deserve to just sit in front on the stage. We were the only two. So everything was fine, 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 fine. Then if you have, we challenge situations. If you have any situation in your body, you have this, or you're believing God in your finances, and you're this, come out. As they were coming out, he said, you yeah, want to pray. I said, we said, you did. I said, I said, you are praying. He said, no, you. I said, no, you. He said, you. I said, no, 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 you. Ah, what's wrong with this man? He came to trick me to come in the first place. Now he's telling me that we want to pray. Who's going to pray? 
I'm saying, I said, God, even God knows I did fast. What kind of, what kind of trouble is this? <laughs> and the men came and they were like this, waiting for God. I said, God. He said, ah. he said ah, bro. The next thing he just told, I thought he was going. He went back. I told him, ah. I said, yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. God, God sees my heart. In Jesus' name. And, I became a minister when I stand. I remember the day that started happening to my life. I remember. I, remember. I can tell you the night. So it wasn't that era. So I came out. I said, okay, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke. Boom. Ah. In the name of Jesus, bah. everybody went down. I said, eh? Eh? And right there, someone said, wow, wow. Testimony. Right there. You know what that told me? He was there. His name is Jesus. He will talk and minister to somebody. And they proved it to me. I would have been justifying myself in my own righteousness. After I fasted so much, I went to Shakata Baba. Everywhere he visits, there's a turnaround. And look at the end of the story. The angel said, the reason I've come is this. You're going to have a son. I'm talking to somebody here today. Right in the heat of your captivity. Right in the, fe- in, in the heat of your oppression. I say you are coming back to testify in the name of Jesus. I speak a turn around in the name of Jesus. I say I speak a turn around in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, I say your life. This situation is the reason why God's name will glorify more than ever in your life. Marabo shakata bra ba 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 ba. Mekotora mashanda krede bro bo sunda brika shata. La kato bro ne kishkenda bro ko sunda brika shata ba. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a visitation. Time will not permit me. We have to close. We have examples about. Oh, did they noise that abroad? Yes. Did they say God has done them something? Yes. Did they themselves say God has done us a good thing? Yes. I said, that's somebody's song for the rest of this month. In the name of Jesus, why don't you lift your hands up to God and give him praise. Give him honor. Give him honor. Worship him. Worship him. Adore him. Awesome God. He said, I am God. There is no order. I declare the end from the beginning. He says, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? Marabo Rakashata Baba. Lakaturbaba. Rikanta Rulaba. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's what? Liberty. Marabo Shekarababa. I decree your freedom. I decree your release. I decree your healing. I decree your deliverance. I decree your turnaround. In the name of Jesus. This month you will testify. I, w- I wish we could come and anoint you with oil, but please stretch your hands towards me. Holy Spirit, help me. And I'm going to stretch my own towards you. So this is our point of contact. Father, I have declared your word in your name. And many are standing here and some virtually believing you for a break in this torrent of oppression believing you for a breakthrough in their lives believing you for the healing that they have been waiting for for so long father right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let the anointing destroy the yoke in jesus name oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes every yoke of oppression Every yoke of fear, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of lack, every ah uh-uh, ni mara boko sora baba. Anything in the realm of stealing, killing, and destruction uh, hovering over your life, uh, we put an end to it tonight in the name of Jesus. We decree the life of God, the healing of God, the abundance of God in the name of Jesus. Uh, 
May is a month of unusual celebration for you. You will rejoice. May will rejoice with you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. And hear me specifically. Every barrenness in your life, whatever nature it may, I mean, what, 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 I mean, in whatever area rather of your life, or whatever the nature of the barrenness may be, I command a turnaround in the name of Jesus. I command fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Woo. The Lord said to me, said, somebody will come. I heard it now. Said the person will say, I had no power in terms of qualification, in terms of finance, in terms of connectivity. I have said that they will come back screaming. God has connected you. God has sought you out. Men are looking for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Your testimony will make many to come into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. It's a month of divine visitation. Expect him in the morning, in the night, in the day, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the hey, uh, He said, Lo, I am with you all the way. Not sometime, all the way. We bless the offering. We give it cheerfully and faithfully in the name of Jesus. But I take all the glory in Jesus' name. Whilst we share the grace, make sure you drop your offering before you go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death, and so sin shall not have dominion over us, because the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us, and it quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of His holy name. Amen. Particularly for this service, I would like to hear your testimony. You know why? Because we didn't have to anoint with oil or lay hands because of the situation. But I want you to know that God can even be more effective than methodology. So I'm looking for your testimony. And I will share mine with you. God bless you. Have a good night in Jesus' name.